Hey there, Wayne Herring, StrongerSalespeople.com, where we help business owners who are the sales manager. I want to finish what I started the other day with this topic of implementation meetings. So no more sales meetings, no more, well, maybe not no more. Sometimes not a sales meeting, especially not a boring sales meeting, but rather an implementation hour. Get results while you're in the meeting, while you're in the room, on the phone, etc. Yeah, my yellow paper can come off. So the other day in our group, instead of doing a normal training meeting like we do most Tuesdays, once a month we do an implementation hour and we did an implementation hour where we emailed cold leads, people we had talked to before that maybe we had dropped the ball on or maybe we just hadn't heard from them. They may have gotten busy. We don't know. Uh, that's really common right now is that we're all overloaded. Your decision makers are no different. It's not that they're not getting back to you intentionally. They just, something else becomes a priority. You know, sure, we sometimes could do a better job of keeping the urgency, finding the compelling reasons so we don't lose track of it. But there's always leads sitting at the bottom of the list that if you can get your sales team together and or if you're a salesperson, go back through those leads, you're gonna be able to warm some up. So we did this implementation hour and I wanna tell you what you can do with your team to set up an implementation hour. It's pretty easy. The first thing you're gonna do is you are, use blue here, you're going to schedule the time block. So get it in everybody's calendar. Maybe you already have a weekly uh, sales meeting or training and instead of doing what you normally do, you're gonna keep the time block like you always do. That way it's in everybody's calendar. They're already coming, they're already prepared. There should never be any options to not be in your weekly meeting. It's once a week. So first you have it in your schedule, you have it in their schedule. If you're the owner, you can't be missing sales meetings and there's no excuses in today's world because you can dial in, you can come in virtually, unless you're on vacation, of course, with your family. And then you should, just like you should expect your team to take time off. But I digress, schedule the time block. Number two, the list. So whatever activity you're gonna do, if it's cold leads, you have people bring 10 cold leads. If it is people that are owed a follow-up call, you bring those. If it's cold calling, a cold calling block, doing some prospecting, that's okay, bring that list. So that's the next piece, have your people prepared and have them bring a list, have them be ready. Number three, you're gonna do the setup. The setup may involve some role playing. It may involve some getting the words right. It may involve you role playing. It might involve your two people pairing off role playing. Could be done virtually, could be done in the room. Or the setup could be, like what we did the other day, is I trained for 15 to 20 minutes a technique, the technique I wanted them to use. Uh, during the time we spent actually emailing prospects. So you need setup time. Let's take about 15 minutes. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, because there's one more on my little yellow note down below, but execute, do it. Um, no social media, no texting, unless texting is the app uh, thing that you're doing to reach out to prospects, but execute the work, no distractions, no interruptions, no sidebar conversations. You just, everybody splits up on their laptop, their phone, whatever the case may be, and you just do the work. You have an implementation hour. And then last piece, and this is important, and I have my little yellow note, hopefully I can peel it off. The last thing is an immediate debrief with everybody. Track the results after the activity could be a couple weeks out to see what comes back in. So when you get back together with your sales team, either virtually or live, track results, talk about what happened as a result of that implementation hour that you did, show proof. Um, but again, right after you're finished with the exercise, you wanna do um, lessons learned. And commitments are good, except many times leaders don't follow through with them. I used to be guilty of this once in a while. So commitments can be good. Like I will, maybe your salesperson says, I will do this weekly. Awesome. But now you have to track it. You have to put that in a folder so you can ask them the next time, how did it go? 
Okay, hope that helps. That's how you set up an implementation hour with your team. If this is helpful, it'd be great if you share it, like it, smash the like button, uh, put helpful in the comments so that I know um, you want me to keep doing these little tips for you. Take care.